Hi there, and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can program the faces kits in UI Flow. In the last video, I showed you that there are two new faces kits the faces RFID reader and the faces fingerprint scanner. So now we have a total of six different faces kits. I also mentioned about a competition that we're running right now where we ask you to make some sort of application with one of the FACES kits. In order to enter the competition, you need to make a good documentation of your project on our hackster.io page, which is hackster.io forward slash M5 stack. It would also be good if you tag your project with a hashtag M5 stack on social media. Okay. Well, maybe you've started on your project, maybe you haven't. You've got plenty of time. The competition will be running until the end of August. So you've still got plenty of time. If you haven't got started yet, I'm going to be showing you each week how to program each one of the FACES kits in UI Flow. In this first video, I'll be showing you how we can make a very simple calculator with the FACES calculator kit. As you would expect, the faces kit can add numbers together and print the output. It can clear the sum. Pretty simple, huh? So let's get started. OK, here we are in UI Flow. And this is the regular version. You can see 1.3.2. But for in order to use the faces, you can see that the faces don't show up anywhere here. So we're actually going to need to go to the better version, 1.3.4. You can just type flow.m5stack.com slash better. OK. OK. And now you can see over here, 1.3.4 better version. You've got to make sure that you're UIFlow firmware on your device is also up to 1.3.4 or you'll have some issues. And here we go. We can see right here faces. We have all of the faces available there. Um, we're going to be using the calculator. So let's see what kind of blocks we have in here. We have get press string, get press button int value, clear press string which is going to clear whatever string you've entered, delete press string last byte, so the final character in the string that you've created, and then a check for if a new button is pressed. Uh, let's just do a quick test to see what kind of values we get when we press the calculator keys with both of these. So this is a quick test. We can set up a loop, um, create a quick label over here, and then Okay, we'll generate a label and pop these in here. Okay, we're going to need two labels. Okay, and I've noticed the uh, the int value doesn't show up for very long. This kind of flashes on the screen, so we'll just stick a a wait button in there. And if I press the keys, uh, my string value, I get pretty much what the key represents. AC um, or clear uh, is A rather than AC. M is M. And then uh, for divide, you've got the slash uh, that we use in Python for dividing and other uh, programming languages. Uh, as for the int value, well, it seems kind of random. You see, like, if I press 7, I get 55. If I press 8, 56, and so on. Uh, so what this is actually doing is displaying the ASCII number for each of those characters. Now, since there isn't any blocks in UI Flow for converting ASCII to an integer, mm, this is going to be kind of useless for us. So uh, I'm going to remove that. 
So unfortunately, we're going to have to use strings. We'll have to make do. For my calculator, I'm going to need three different variables. I'm going to make a variable to store the input. And then I'm going to make a variable to collect all of the numbers together that I want to add and then another variable to spit out the result okay I had some issues using the label uh, for this so I'm actually going to display the numbers with the LCD print function instead so I want to be able to see what I'm inputting so I'm going to put um, input in there stick that in the, in the top left corner and then I'll duplicate that and then I want to see my result down at the bottom so I'll set that to I guess around 200 and the font of uh, this de default font is rather small so uh, I'm going to set that to a much bigger font I'll set it up in the setup I'm going to set that to well, around here should be a nice size okay and then I need to declare my variables first so I'll just set input because I'm getting a string from the uh, from the calculator buttons I'm going to need to set this up as a string to start off with so go into text and I'll put a zero in there so I know where it's going to show okay and then I'll set up my result Okay, so um, I'm going to basically add the numbers I want to add together to a list. So we're going to make that sum variable to be a list. Okay, so now I can go down into lists and then set it to create an empty list. Okay. And then basically every time I add a new number, it'll be added onto that list and then I'll just sum up all of the contents of the list. Okay, so next part, what we're going to do is going to get some logic in here. Okay, so firstly, I only want it to display the numbers on the screen when I input something. So I'm going to use that int uh, int value and check if it's more than 36 the lowest ASCII character or ASCII key code value that it is on the keyboard and uh, so when it's more than that then we'll set input to get the press string Had that there over there. Um, okay, now we're going to need a bunch of else ifs. I'll add more as I go along. Okay, so to add the add function, it usually would make sense to use functions for this, but I don't have the ability to add arguments into the function, so I'm going to have to do it a little bit of a different way. Okay, so since we're working with strings, I'm going to go be going into this text area a lot. And first, what I want to do is to check the string if there's a plus in there. Okay, so I'm going to be using this one. And then the string is input. And then last letter because we're usually going to be adding the using the plus button after we've entered a number okay so and then logic 
is equal to the string plus and then okay in lists I want to choose this block okay and then the list is called sum okay and then I set the first position doesn't matter whether we set it to the first or the last uh, as input Okay, but obviously uh, we're going to want to add these together later, so we're going to convert the strings into ints. Okay. Uh, now, what is, go what is going to happen is not only will it add the number that I've entered in there, it'll also add the plus uh, character as well, which is going to mess with things. So basically, I'm going to use another function to strip that plus button out of that number. Okay, we'll use the replace. And then plus. Then make it blank. Okay, in input. Okay, so that's just going to strip the plus button away. Okay, and then we need to clear that string in order to add the next value. I'm also going to clear input. And also to avoid uh, getting some string left on the screen, we'll clear the LCD as well. The LCD color is set by default to a slightly light, lighter color than black, so I'll add LCD fill at start so they're the same color. Okay, now we're going to move on to the clear function. So we can copy a lot of this. Just copy that in here. Okay, and then instead of plus, I'm going to add A. We may put the clear button we may press it before the number or after the number so I'm going to duplicate this change this to first letter then and end okay put these together okay and then I want to also clear the press string and set the input back to zero and also LCD clear set the result back to zero also and also I want to clear the list okay now I can get around to finally doing the equals so again I'm going to copy this we want to when equals is pressed then we want to add the second or third or fourth or fifth number add them all together so and this time we'll get this block pop it in there then we'll reset those input and clear press string And this time we're going to sum the numbers in that list together. So we'll get this block from maths. And then this list is called sum. Okay, and then we want to set result to be the sum of the list. And also clear the screen as well. Okay, and also need to remember to remove that string, to remove the equals character from the list. Okay, and that's pretty much it. We can test it out now.
Okay, so this is by no means a finished calculator and there are a few bugs, but in a short time I wanted to show you what is possible with using the FACES calculator kit. And there we have it, a simple FACES calculator program made with UI Flow. See if you can improve upon the program, add some extra functionality, and if you get stuck, make sure to leave us a comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.